In this video, I'll show you how to produce a parametric representation for a circle. And in this particular case, we have a formula of a circle that's x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. And we are told that the initial point is at 0 and negative 4, and the orientation is clockwise. The technique that we use in this particular problem, you can also use it for an ellipse. OK, so the way we go about doing this is you want to start off with a illustration. and Analyzing this equation, we have it is equal to 16 on the right side. By square rooting that number, you get the radius. So the square root of 16 is 4. We have a circle that is situated at the center with a radius of 4. So we'll have a point up here at 0 and 4, a point here at 4 and 0. Our initial point is over here at 0 and negative 4 and a point at negative 4 and 0. Now the question tells us that the orientation is clockwise. So the initial and the terminal point will be at both 0 and negative 4. Keep that in mind. Our circle will look like this. And because it's moving clockwise, I'll put arrows that go in this direction. So technically, step 1 is to Note where the initial point is, terminal point is, and if you can, make an illustration. The next step is to write the equation, the one that we have here, in the form x squared over a denominator plus y squared over a denominator is equal to 1. So how do I make this equal to 1? I divide everything by 16. If I divide this by 16, I get x squared over 16 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. As I mentioned before, if the denominators are the same, then we're dealing with a circle. Just be mindful of that. In step number three, we'll use the Pythagorean identity sine squared t plus cosine squared t is equal to 1 so that we can start to make one of the following substitutions and be very careful with this next part. If the initial point lies on the y-axis, which it does for our example, we use the substitution where the sine squared t is equal to the x term and the cosine squared t is equal to the y term. If it does not start on the y-axis but it starts on the x-axis, the opposite is true, where x squared term is equal to the cosine and the y squared term is equal to the sine. Now because ours lies on the y-axis, I'll set sine squared t equal to x squared over 16 and cosine squared t is equal to y squared over 16. Next, we want to solve these equations so that we have both x and y isolated. For this one, I'll multiply both sides by 16. I have 16 times sine squared t is equal to x squared. And for this one, I have 16 cosine squared t is equal to y squared. I'll square root both sides. And if I square root the left side, I get 4 sine t is equal to x. And on the right side, I get 4 cosine t is equal to y. Now remember, 4 can be plus or minus, right? Because you're square rooting 16, you get plus minus. Now the fact that this is plus minus 4 and plus minus 4, this means that there are four possibilities for parametric equations. You can have positive 4 sine t is equal to x with positive 4 cosine t is equal to y. You could have positive 4 sine t is equal to x with negative 4 cosine t is equal to y. You kind of get the idea here. And for each of these possibilities, given that we are dealing with a circle, and a circle goes between 0 and 2 pi radians, the restrictions will all be the same. It will be 0 is less than or equal to t, and t is less than or equal to 2 pi. And the same thing for each of these, the same restrictions. OK, there's one last step, which is to determine which of the four parametric representations is correct. We must look at the initial point and we must consider the orientation. The way we do this is 
remember that the y coordinate of the initial point is negative 4, which is a negative number. Therefore, the parametric equation representing y must be in the form of negative 4 cosine t, because when t is equal to 0, that gives us an output of negative 4. four. Remember, our initial value was 0 and negative 4. That doesn't happen if we were to substitute it into positive 4 cosine t. I would end up with a positive y output. So this has to be one of the parametric equations. If I were to substitute t is equal to 0 into any of these, I get an output of x is equal to 0. Now, does that mean you can have both positive 4 and negative 4 as the other parametric equation? The answer is no, because the circle itself it is increasing. From the initial point, it is increasing. And what that is suggesting is that the x values are becoming more negative. You see, it went from 0 to negative. Therefore, we must choose x is equal to negative 4 sine t as the parametric equation describing the x. I'll highlight the fact that we have to choose negative 4 sine t because of the orientation. Our two parametric equations have to be the negative versions, which are those that are highlighted. And so there you have it. That is how to determine a parametric representation of a circle or ellipse centered at the origin.